My name is Tyler Moss, and today we're going to spend a few minutes walking through sprayer setup and drive install on John Deere self-propelled sprayers. So here we have our drive, and we're going to go ahead and identify the CAM bus port, which is down here on the lower right-hand corner of the cab up against the window. This one has the uh, cap removed, but if not, just simply spin the cap off. It'll open up the CAN bus port. Take your drive, spin it around until you feel it push in, give it a twist, and you've installed the drive in the John Deere sprayer. So as we begin to set up the John Deere sprayer, there's four measurements that are necessary to identify where the GPS receiver is in reference to the spray boom. The first measurement that we'll need is from the center of the front drive axle to the GPS receiver. We want to know the front to back offset. And on the John Deere, on this particular model, the offset is zero because the GPS globe is directly on top of the front drive axle. The second measurement that is necessary is your left to right offset and on the John Deere equipment generally speaking the GPS receiver is directly in the center of the cab which will result in an offset left to right of zero. The third measurement that we're going to take is going to be the height of the GPS receiver off the ground. So for this you'll need a tape measure and stand on the cab and we'll drop a tape measure down to the grove, the ground and measure from the ground up to the base of the GPS receiver. The fourth and final measurement necessary to set up the GPS location is going to be the length from the boom and you want to take the measurement from where the nozzles come out on the boom to the center again of this drive axle. We'll drop a tape measure on the ground Again, from your nozzle where the liquid comes out of the sprayer to the center of this axle. So the final pieces of information that we need to finish setting up our John Deere sprayer are going to be three measurements that are important to the boom alone. So the first measurement is going to be the total length of the boom. On this one just happens to be a 90 foot boom. The second piece of information that's necessary is going to be how many sections are controlled individually on this boom. As we're identifying the number of sections on this sprayer, we're going to be looking for two different things. You can identify it simply by the length of the sprayer section, and if you'll notice here, we've kind of got an end point, and as we follow this along, you're going to find yourself to another end point that's all controlled by one separate solenoid valve. So as we identify the sprayer sections, on this one, we've got a solenoid here, and as we begin to count, we've got a solenoid here, so one section, two sections, three, four, five in the, sec in the center of the sprayer, and another four on the other end that mimic the side of this sprayer. So the last piece of information, we've identified on this particular sprayer that there are nine sprayer sections. The last piece of information that we'll put into the cab app is going to be the length of the individual sections. So we'll simply pull a tape measure across each section, take our measurements, and enter it in for each individual sprayer section. So in summary, to finalize when we're setting up a John Deere self-propelled sprayer, we've installed the drive in the cab. There's four measurements to identify the location of the GPS globe. The first of which is offset front to back off the center of the front axle. The second is going to be the offset from center left to right. The third measurement is going to be the height of the GPS receiver off the ground. And the fourth measurement again is from the exit of the liquid at the spray nozzle to again the center of the front drive axle and when we're setting up the boom remember the total length of the boom the number of sections and the width of each section